Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful alpine stitch head. It's so simple, uh, that's an adult version. If you want to make it smaller um, or maybe a little bigger, uh, I will explain how can you adjust it in the video. Simply you just need multiples of two. I use a Fupex pom pom. You can make your own pompon. I have a video about it uh, in my channel. And for this one, I used my brand's yarn, Anna's Choice, 4.5 millimeter hook. Uh, you can use any category for yarn you choose uh, with 4.5 millimeter hook. It's up to your hand actually. You will need a measure and some scissors, a yarn needle and that's all. If you are ready, uh, we can start now. Start with a slip knot. And make nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn your chains. We will work into this back bumps. Skip the first one. Insert into the second. Grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through. I made a single crochet. And keep making single crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one, turn. Now we will make single crochets again, but we will only use these back loops here. Make back loop only single crochets. Five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one, turn, and again make eight back loop only single crochets. And keep repeating. You can make this ribbing as long as you want. Just wrap this around your head. Uh, only thing uh, you must be careful about, you must have an even number in the ends. Even numbers of rows. Uh, now I'm gonna make it longer. When I turn back, I'll give you the measurements and numbers. See you there. I complete the ribbing. It's 40 centimeters. As I told you, you can make it bigger or smaller as you like. It's 72 uh, rows totally. That's where I start and finish. Yeah. Now I'm gonna join them. Insert from this first stitch. Insert from this first stitch, grab this loop, pull through, make a chain, insert into the same stitch, and from this back one, insert only back loop, grab the yarn, pull through, both loops, back loop, make a slip stitch, both loops, back loop, slip stitch. One more. 
last time, use the back loop again, chain one and turn. You see, that's where we join. Now we will make single crochets. You see, each of these lines uh, is a row, so I'm gonna use all of them. Insert here, make a single crochet. Insert here, make a single crochet. Put one single crochet into each row, I'll see you at the end. Now that's the last one and we have a 72 stitch right now. And insert from this first stitch and I will change the color. If you don't, just join with a slip stitch, then chain 2. Cut this yarn, now insert into the same stitch, do not count this chain 2 as a stitch, insert here, make a double crochet, yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, into the next, make a double, into the next, make a double, make a double, Put one double crochet into each stitch, see you here. I complete the row and join from this first stitch, not into this chain, okay? Join from this stitch. Then chain two. Do not count this one as a stitch two. Now we are gonna make front post double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook around this first double crochet here. Make a double crochet, but make it loose. One, two. That's still important. Your tension, hand tension is so important. If you are not making them loose, you can use a bigger hook, 5mm hook. Into this next stitch, insert into this stitch and make a double crochet, a regular double crochet. Yarn over, around this next, make a loose front post double crochet. Into this next stitch, put a double crochet, around the next, Put a front post double crochet, a regular double, a front post double, just uh, repeat this for this row. This was the last front post double and I'm gonna make a double crochet. Join from the first stitch. Chain 2. And for this row we will start with a regular double crochet then make a front post double crochet. If you see a front post here 
just put a double crochet into the stitch. If you see a regular double crochet, that means you will make a front post double crochet around it. A regular, a front post, a regular into the stitch, a front post double crochet. Keep repeating. I right, to the end again. I made a front post double crochet, then join from this first stitch. Chain two, and we will repeat this row. It's just two row repeat. Make a front post double crochet around double crochet, and make a double crochet. A front post, a double. A front post, a double. Repeat this a little more. Uh, when I turn back, I will give you the uh, measurements. Uh, I will make it bigger and turn back to you. I made it eight inch long. It's twenty centimeters. Now we can make some uh, decreases. Chain two. Now uh, we will start with a front post decrease. Yarn over, insert around this first double crochet, wrap the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and don't complete. Yarn over, skip this one, around this next double crochet, make a front post again. Yarn over, pull through two. I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through. That's our first decrease. Now into this next stitch, this front, front post stitch, make a double, a front post, a double, front post, A double. Once we complete this five double crochets in a row, okay, you see I made a, a decrease, then a regular, a front post, a regular, a front post, a regular, totally five double crochets. Then I'm gonna make one more decrease, make half of a front post double crochet, skip this one. Around the next, make half again, yarn over, pull through. Then, starting from this next stitch, make a double crochet, make a front post, a double, front post, one more double crochet, a decrease. Skip this and repeat this till the end of the row. I reached to the end, I made five double crochets and I'm going to insert from this first stitch, first degree stitch, join. Chain two. Now uh, I will make a um, uh, alpine stitch again just make a double crochet here and around this next one make a front post make a double make a front post make a double and a front post that's our next uh, degree stitch insert and make a double Make a front pause. We will just um, repeat this. We will not make any degrees for this row. Just complete the row. See at that. 
Oh, I made this last one postable crochet join from the first stitch chain two. I'm going to make a decrease again. Pull through two, skip this one, and on the next, grab the yarn, pull through two, yarn over, pull through. Now make one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's that's my decrease. I made a double, a front post, a double, a front post, a double. Now I'm gonna make a decrease again. And make five double crochets. Three. Four, five, make a decrease, skip this, five double crochets, just complete the row. Uh, now we're at the end, I made last decrease and I have one, two, three stitches left, just put a double crochet, a front post, and a double crochet. Don't mind this. Uh, there maybe you think like there must be five double crochets, but um, we could make a decrease, then three double crochet, and a decrease. And with this way, uh, in the end, you will only have three more double crochets. Uh, this will it will work perfectly. But I want to make a softer decrease so th this will not change anything for us don't mind it join from this first stitch chain two just make it double a front post a double crochet a front post a double complete the row with the front post double crochets and double crochets. I complete row and join from the first stitch. Now we are make we are gonna make decreases. One, skip this one, two, complete together. For the next three stitches, I'm gonna make it double front post and a double. Then decrease again. Skip one. Make one double crochet, one front post double crochet, and one more double crochet. Then a decrease. That's all we will repeat for this row. See you at the end. Now I made the last decrease, I still have one more stitch here. <laughs> you must see him. He never let me work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a double crochet here and join, chain two. Now we are gonna repeat alpine stitch again, make it double crochet a front post a double a front post a double a front post just complete two row that's the last row okay chain two make a front post double crochet Skip the next one and around the next make a front post. We will only make front post double crochets this time. Skip this one, make a front post. Skip that, front post. 
make front post and complete the row. When you made this last one, just join, make a chain, cut this yarn and with a needle we will close here. And that's all. Uh, hope you like it. If you like, please uh, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram address, you can reach me there. Uh, that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.